Hey guys, it's Chessie here, and I'm going to do one of my friendship videos, and I'm going to show you five things of picking a new friend. Number one, make sure you pick a friend who gives you nice compliments, and it always makes you feel like you matter in the world, because you do. So, um, next is number two. Make sure she is really, really loyal to you. And make sure she's there for you. Like, she goes with you through breakup. She goes with you through every single thing. And go to her. If, you have, if you're in a bad relationship, you need to talk to your best friend. And she'll talk you out of something. So, you need to make sure that you go to her every step of the way. Because she's there for you for one reason. To make you happy and to make you feel like you matter. Number three. Ooh. Number three. Make uh, make sure you meet your friend off of good matters. And good matters is um things that you can do and good matters are really what that friend's all about. So you need to make sure that your friend has a good personality in a good friendship. Like in my locker, I'm in middle school. Um I'm in middle school and in my locker I have Tessa plus somebody else equals BFS in my locker. And I also have my boyfriend's name on the board too. But um that's not important at this moment. This is not a boyfriend thing. So um I so make sure you know you let her know that she is your best friend, and that you'll be there for every step of the way. Bo is make sure she's there for you for break, for friend problems. Make sure they're for make sure they're there for you every step of the way. Make sure they call them twenty four seven, text them. It's the best thing you can do. And bye. This is my last one. All right. Five. Make sure you're there for her. Also, make sure that you show her love and affection. Not like that. I don't mean like that. But make sure you show her love and affection. Make sure you tell her that you love her and that you really think she's the best friend ever. And I have one more piece of advice. If you go through like a fight and you don't know how to get through it, apologize. And you're going to be like, I don't need to apologize because it wasn't my fault. Yes, you do need to apologize because that's the most important thing. If you apologize first, it will work out better. So, do what's best for you and your friend. And, like, my heart was broken when I lost my friend. <clears throat> but she moved, and she became, um, a lesbian, so that's a great idea. But, um, I, um, I really think that you should be around people that you really know that you're going to be with. Like, you're going to, like, love her forever. And, like, you have plans to, like, live with her. But, um, I have some fakers, fake best friends of mine. And don't be a faker. If you don't like the person, just them, like, just them, like, tell them you don't want to be friends at this moment. I hate freaking fakers. They get on my nerves. Because I have a few of them. And I'm like... Okay, so make sure your friends aren't fakers. I have a few fakers I know of that are friends with me, but not really But I'm not a faker. I am really good friends with people. So I am a new YouTuber, so I'll give me some credit. And this is Fabulous Diva signing off.